I'll show you how I make a good reproduction of this glossy painting. I have two flat screens of LED lamps and I put this on two easels on both sides of the painting. Here and on the other side. And to avoid any shine, I make sure that there is a black curtain here. So I prepared this a black curtain here. I hope you can see it well. And then I take my camera and I put this camera through a little hole that I made in the canvas, in the curtain. Here we are. So you see the two LED lamps on both sides of the painting and turning to the right the black curtain with the camera peeping through and this is the way it looks behind the curtain. I stick a piece of white paper to be able to control the white balance later in Photoshop and now I can take the picture. And imagine if you have a painting with a piece of glass in this way you don't see any reflections at all. Now you see my picture open in Photoshop. I go to images, adjusts and I go to curves and I take the white eyedropper, the right one, and I click on the piece of paper. Now you see the color has changed, now it's balanced. I enlarge the picture because I want to clean it, there is a lot of dust points to be seen. Uh, maybe you can't see it, let's make it a little bit um, bigger. Now you can clearly see what I do. I take the tool again and I draw, let's say I draw on top of these um, white spots. And it's corrected now. A lovely tool in Photoshop. You see you can correct everything that you don't like. Especially in the dark areas you see always dust. That one, maybe in the background. Well, that, this will do for just to show what I do more or less. Now I crop the image, make the selection, and I crop it, and I save it. I give it a name, H, and I say save. But you also want to save your same image for the website. I go to save for web. And then you see the width and that should be 1000 pixels. That's the best option for saving for web. I say save, I give it another name, H2. Otherwise I can't find it back, I say save. And I click this away and I don't save this because it's already saved. This is what I do more or less in Photoshop. Check out my website or my blog, Painting Portrait Tips, and there I will give you more information about the lamps and the way I make the pictures.